Hello and welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be giving you an update on my countertop water distiller made by Megahome, a company that's been in business since 1992, so 27 years. I've been using this countertop water distiller virtually every day, if not twice a day, for the past seven years and it's held up like a workhorse. It saved me a bunch of money. I think the information that I share with you today could be quite helpful and help you to start save money and become a healthier person as well. So first off, what is distilled water? Well, distilled water is boiled water where the steam is gathered through a coiling system where it cools off, recondenses, and comes out. The end product is pure H2O, pure water. There's no other filtration method that can offer a 99.99% purity other than distillation. So in my opinion, distillation takes the cake as far as at-home water purification systems go. I'm going to be going over some numbers with you today to show you how a machine like this can actually turn into a money-making machine. If you go by the old adage, a penny saved is a penny earned, well, not only am I saving pennies a day with this machine, I'm saving quarters, about 75 cents a day. And the way I was able to calculate those numbers is I connected the power input to my outlet on a kilowatt meter, which allows you to calculate how much electricity that you used. And then with that data, you can figure out the overall cost to distill one gallon of water. That's what this unit does. It distills one gallon of water in about five and a half to six hours. So for me, the total cost to distill a gallon of water is about 35 cents. And on average, depending on where you live, what tier you are on your electric company's billing schedule, it's going to range between 25 to 35 cents. Now, your average gallon of water that you can buy from the store, whether it be spring water or distilled water, is going to cost you at minimum a dollar and upwards of a dollar fifty. So on average, you should be saving about 75 cents per gallon of water by making it at home. Not to mention, you don't need to get in the car, go run to the store, pick up those heavy jugs, unload them, bring them in the house. It's all done right in the comfort of your own home. So if you're making one gallon of water every day, 365 days a year, at the end of the year, you will have saved approximately $275, which is more than the cost of the unit itself. So a one year payback, if you were to make one gallon of water a day, if you make two gallons of water a day, and you can make up to three gallons of water a day during your waking hours, but if you were making two gallons of water a day, your total cost savings is going to be $550, more than double the price of this unit. So with that math, within the first year, I had this completely paid back. And from that time forward now, every single day, I'm saving at least 75 cents. Now that's a great feeling. How many products out there these days can you say that about? So how does this machine work anyway? Well, you have your chamber here, which is the boiling chamber, and the inside is made of steel, as is the outside, but the inside and the coils, which are in this top unit here, are all made of 304 stainless steel, high quality, so it holds up against the test of time. But in this chamber, and I'm gonna open this up to share it with you, it boils the water at 212 degrees to boiling point, which effectively kills all bacteria and parasites. From there, it gathers the steam, collects it into the steel coils that are in this unit up top here. There's a fan that also cools down those coils. And as the steam is traveling through the coils and cooling down, it then drips out the spout here. Pure recondensed water. Now a side benefit I want to mention is that this unit does give off a generous amount of heat, especially in a smaller space. So if you live in a tiny home, you got a cabin, or you just want to heat a particular room throughout the winter, if you run this overnight, and it does make some noise, the white noise I find to be relaxing, but if you do run this overnight or in a smaller space, even during the day, you're going to notice a temperature shift. It's going to warm up a little bit. And for that same reason, I actually have a little shelf unit right outside my kitchen window where I do my distilling throughout the summer months because it can actually warm up the space. But for me, that's free energy, and there's a lot of different use cases you could apply that. I'm actually thinking about because I've got a second unit. I bought a backup because I love it so much. I might actually set one of these up in my greenhouses to see if I'm able to raise the ambient temperature by a considerable amount. Again, the smaller the greenhouse, the more effective that's going to be. So once the steam travels through the coils here and comes out the spigot, it looks like it's plastic. But what you'll find is there's actually a glass insert inside here. So the water never has contact with the plastic. And this conveniently holds a carbon packet. This is just charcoal which really does improve the end product. It gives you just that pure, clean water 
taste, if you want to call it that. Any of the VOC gases that came off the water you're distilling could come up in the flavor of the water. So that carbon packet completely neutralizes it and takes it away. So I highly recommend that. And you could buy these replacement packets. They last a long time. I think they recommend that you change it once a month. I usually change mine once every few months. And by the way, if you want to learn more about any of the items I'm discussing today, check the links below in the description box. I'll have a link to the distiller, the carbon pods, as well as some of the other items that I'm going to mention here. So let's take a look at the inside of the unit. Now this is how easy it is to open it up. All you do is just pop the top and that fully removes and you can see the chamber there. There's one little speck of damage there which was caused by myself when I used an abrasive piece of steel wool to try to clean up some of the calcium deposit there. And there's also a little bit of wear on this upper lid as well in a couple spots. Overall, not a big deal, but it's really important. I can't emphasize enough that you never use anything abrasive to clean the unit. It's totally unnecessary. There's two different ways to clean the unit, and I'll share that with you now. For years after I purchased this, my routine would be after I make a batch of water, and you're going to see a lot of crusty, nasty stuff in here, it's going to surprise you. It's going to stink too. You're going to be like, whoa, that was coming out of my tap. I'll just take some distilled vinegar and spray the inside of the unit, soak it down, and I may come back in a couple minutes and do it again. And if you stay consistent with that after each batch, you can just wipe it clean and stay on top of it. But a less manual, easier, more lazy method, you could say, is to use citric acid, which I buy in bulk. Again, link down in the description if you want to get your hands on some of this food grade citric acid by the bag. And all you need to do in that case, what I found, I only clean the machine about once a week. Even with the buildup in there, it's not a big deal because the water, again, is being boiled and the steam is what's being collected. So you can allow some of that stuff to build up. Then once a week, I'll put two tablespoons of the citric acid in the vessel with some warm water. Let it sit for about 15 minutes. Then you literally just rinse it out. It's completely clean. So to replace the top, you just literally set it on top. And let me show you this. The one thing that I replaced on this machine was this gasket. And another thing that's great about Mega Home is that they carry all the different parts that you could possibly need to replace. Whether it's the top, the body, the, the spout, the gasket, they're all available. So you could really keep this machine going for a very long time. There's a lot of different knockoffs that look very similar to the Mega Home brand. I wouldn't recommend it. I say stick with tried and true quality. You're always going to be making the best investment decision when you do stick with quality and with a company that's been around as long as Mega Home has. So here is the collection vessel and that just goes right under the little spout like that. Made of glass and you can see I just made a full batch here so we've got a full vessel. But this is very convenient in that you don't have to transfer it to another container. It pours out very easily but if you want to keep making another batch you can easily pour this into another container and continue going. But this is the setup. This is how it all goes together like so. Now I'm a big fan of distilled water as my drinking water as well as my pets. Like I mentioned, it gets rid of absolutely everything including fluoride and chlorine, heavy metal toxins. It's so effective. I've even demonstrated in the past me taking dirty rainwater off my dirty roof that came out of my dirty rain gutters, putting it through my distiller and drinking the end product. And for those who may be concerned about the loss of minerals, well, there's an easy solution. You can get yourself something like this. I've been using these concentrates mineral drops for years now. And you could just add a few drops into your water and you're good to go. So I use this both for myself and for my pets. And I find that to be the perfect combination. You got your pure distilled water here. You add your trace minerals to it. You're good to go. All right, so I'll show you now how easy it is to get a batch of water going. So first of all, I've got another glass container here so I can transfer the water in my pitcher so I could use it for a new batch. And you can pick up a bunch of these jugs at your home brew store. You can even get them online. Or even if you're buying apple cider, those type of things that come in these one gallon glass jugs, clean them out really well. And then you've got yourself some excellent long-term water storage containers. And I do have to rinse this unit out because I added in the vinegar. And you can use hot or cold water. I prefer to use the hot water since what this chamber is going to do is boil the water. So 
it's already hot, you're going to expedite the process and begin the distilling sooner than later. Now what you'll see on the inside here, there's a line that says full. That's where you're going to fill the water up to, obviously. But it is important that you leave an appropriate headspace there as the water is boiling. Alright, now we can put the unit back together. And you'll see that the top there has its own plug. And then you also have your power cord. This is the only other wear on the cord here that has occurred over the past seven years. As I do unplug this every single day, at least once a day. And that can be easily repaired. That's just the outer sleeve there. So we'll plug that in. And the machine automatically starts up. So we'll just turn that forward facing again, replace the pitcher under the spout. And that's all there is to it. Once it's brewed its entire batch of water, it automatically shuts off. Now the fan blows upward off the top of the unit here to cool down the coils inside. Right now it's cool, but once the whole system heats up and starts going, you'll notice that air is warm. And I'll just give you a little visual. So overall to me, the noise is quiet. It's not a big deal. It's a white noise. Some people actually enjoy that as I mentioned earlier. But something to consider nonetheless. So with that my friends, this is going to conclude my 7 year update and review of my Mega Home countertop water distiller. This thing is a workhorse. It's a tank. It's done a tremendous job providing my family and I with the freshest, purest water. And so with that, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Have a wonderful weekend. Until next time, this is Dan from PlantAbundance.com. Take care. I'll be talking to you again soon.